I'm in South Lyon, Michigan today. Pre-purchase inspection in a 1973 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Vehicle appears to have had one repaint in its lifetime in its original color of uh, metallic blue. There's metallic in this. Hard to see the codes there. Code, paint code's 29. Arctic, uh, what's the blue on this again? Midnight blue. Midnight blue, correct, yeah. Build date appears to be 04 Charlie. Third week in April. Three nine seven zero zero one zero cast block with a uh, casting date what appears to be C three three C L K is the uh, suffix stamp that I had to take a picture of another picture because we've got a fuel line in the way and uh, that alternator needs to be removed but I did see it it's got nice original brooch marks engine uh, casting date. Got a still photo for the potential purchaser. Um, if you need inspection service like this, 800-301-3886. Bear in mind if you're watching this video, uh, this video is only intended for the person who's considering purchasing the vehicle. So if you're watching it, it could be a month or two later. And uh, the car may not even be available. But it may. So we've got a very original engine bay. It's been touched up and detailed a little bit. It hasn't been uh, restored. Uh, original aluminum finned valve covers, a distributor with points. Subframe bushings are all stock and original. Sheet metal is in generally in pretty good shape. Original front suspension. Um, some deterioration of the bushing components seen. Original AIR pump in place has been uh, nicely detailed along with the alternator and still in working condition. Correct exhaust manifolds have a nice coat and a finish on them. Some original heater hoses with original grooves present. So a lot of originality about the car, as we'll see when I get underneath it. Again, suspension is unrestored, and it has uh, original orange fuel line clips for the send and the return. Original pea green anodized clips for the overflow bottle. Some cool little original things happening. So there's been a little bit of detail work on the uh, engine paint. Uh, that original chrome air cleaner lid has a silk screen marking on the backside, AC Delco. Not an aftermarket piece. That could be glued back down. Power steering, power brakes car, that's about what we have for equipment. AM radio. Uh, the hood's in good shape. Doesn't appear that it's been uh, bowed or stressed from uh, aged hinge. Mounting points uh, closes up nicely. So there's our engine bay. The antifreeze looks good. It's nice and green. Uh, the oil has been changed. The transmission fluid doesn't appear to be recently flushed, but it's fairly pink and it smells good. Didn't see any issues with that. We'll head over to the trunk. Trunk's been uh, detailed up nicely. GM Aqua Splatter present and it's uh, done very nicely. This has been touched up, cleaned up, uh, restored up a bit. No apparent collision damage here on the back side of the tail panel. This quarter, though not obvious from the inside, um, appears to have been replaced based on the spot welds seen down below. Support to the tail panel doesn't look crushed or rolled over. No real issues there. Jams all look like they're stock OEM factory jams. 
even over here side to side the seams look the same so hard to tell where that quarter started and ended decks in good shape there's no real major swelling going on in the lip edge there is a, a spare there's a jack jack plate a rubber mount and there's an extra wheel that goes with the car the keg of beer is not included you got original set of uh, rallies and BF Goodrich uh, P235 60R15s they got a ton of tread on them I don't see any dry cracking uh, no real issues to report on the wheels and tires just some little mild general wear on the wheels and tires we'll get underneath the car after we take a quick look at the glass uh, no major chips or chunks in the windshield there's a few dead bugs which could result uh, in a small tiny chip but I don't I didn't see anything that was uh, alarming the side glass on these F bodies those pads often wear out in the inside the doors and they develop some roller scratches and this car is no stranger to that so there's a few little roller scratches but the windows go up and down a few hairline cracks in the belt molding that looks like an original piece and then our original soft gray marking so we're looking at original glass rear window fit trim fits very nice and uh, no major issues a little bit of sand scratching uh, here maybe a DA mark but that's got an original safety plate emblem in it as well so a few little hairline scratches here and there in various locations the driver's window more of the same I won't take the time to roll it up but you get the picture and again the belt molding here is uh, slightly worn I don't think those have ever been changed so that takes care of under hood trunk let's get under the body and look at the floors and suspension all the trim by the way appears to be original to the car marker lights show in pretty good shape aluminum uh, headlight bezels uh, polished up reasonably well a little bit of general wear on the bumpers front bumper guard set I guess that's an option a Z28 sway bar Uh, bushings are original again suspension I just mentioned is original we got riveted ball joints still in place shocks and springs are older a uh, little possible seep from the power steering pump that's unconfirmed and maybe a little seepage from the uh, front main pan seal Pitman arm, idler arm, again all of that looks pretty stock and unmolested. Factory front disc brakes. Frame rails on the subframe, all the die holes look consistent left to right, everything looks just like that. Core support hasn't been rippled or wrinkled, doesn't look like anybody hooked a chain on it and did any stretching or, or caused, any, uh, <clears throat> caused any concern. Up here in this front pocket, that looks really nice ahead of the tire and the splash in the well. Um, on this side where we have the battery, we have a little bit of rust up there. There is a hole and a seam split there. That's a replaceable, repairable panel that can be uh, spliced in. But that being said, there's some rust right there. Uh, one other small rust hole in the bottom of the fender extension i'll show you when i get around to the side subframe bushings are original fuel lines brake lines original i'm now back behind the uh driver's front tire it's a norwood built car norwood ohio and uh, usually these cars are a little more rusty than what you're seeing here this car has been pretty well survived. It's reported to have 50,000 actual miles. That's what the title says. So coming down here along the pinch welds, 
this is nice and solid. There's one small finger size uh, rust hole right here on the bottom. But except for that, the pinch welds down here along the rockers are really clean. Bottoms of the rockers are clean and these floors are really fabulous survivors. When you look at the uh, some cleaning and power washing was done, you, you can see they got right down to the red oxide primer. And here along these seams, there's no split, um, no big perforations or separations. Uh, that might be a little bit of uh, seepage actually coming down from the valve cover. So may not even be what we, what we think it is. Uh, Turbo 400 transmission in place. I took uh, as many photos as I could of the VIN stamp up there, but uh, the exhaust is routed in a way you can't really get to it without uh, dropping the exhaust to clean it and see it. Uh, so we didn't see, we see some evidence that there are some numbers there, but can't read what they are. Subframe bushings are, uh, oops, are original, and they're in pretty good shape. They're not all decayed horribly, or I think they'll, they'll do, they'll suffice. This exhaust system is older, it's probably seen better days. And uh, it's got some perforations, some holes in the, a very far transverse muffler in the back. But this is the essence of the underbody right here. Very solid, very stable. Three or four days on a hoist with a wire brush and a few cans of red oxide primer and you'd be back in business. This would be a nice, nice looking underbody with really very minimal um, effort applied. And down here while I'm on the, well let me finish on the bottom of the car here and then we'll go up. I am now behind the, uh, or ahead of the rear left tire and the splash area looks very nice. Um, down here we have good magnetic adhesion. Paint's got a pretty nice reflection. Uh, down below here on the bottom of this quarter, some uh, non-factory spot welds there telling us that that quarter's been changed, but whoever did it did a very nice job. It's not really detectable in the trunk. There's our transverse muffler and opposite of this side, there's a small rust hole in it. And uh, GM 10 bolt with a, the narrow sway bar set up. Gas tank looks like it's in good shape. Lower valance panel in good shape, all factory spot welds present. New leaf spring bushings uh, front and on the uh, front front sides of the perches and on the rear. So unrestored axle housing. Another shot at the wheels. A good general shape with some light wear present. We'll bring the car out into the sunlight, just dropped it down off the jack and show a little more about the about the body and the paintwork and the magnetic adhesion, which is really, really good. So on the other side you saw that I had some magnets placed. And uh, you can go ahead and fire it up and back it out. We're gonna take it for a ride here in a minute. There we go, my meter's giving me some trouble. I've got still photos around the car showing the meter readings, but 31 down low on the quarters. This is typically where you'd see some rust. All along the bottom of the vehicle, we've got good readings. And the, 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 the uh, Quarter panel dog legs are nice and flush with the doors. The doors open and close nicely. No real wear in the hinge bushings. There's an exhaust leak. I can't tell if it's coming just from the rear, but it sounds like it's coming from the front and the rear. And that exhaust system's old, so it's probably gonna need to be changed. Uh, down low, you can see where I placed a few magnets. Pretty good adhesion. 
down here. We've got a lot of still photos of this working. And uh, looks like my batteries are getting weak. I can change those and come back. But again, uh, the magnets don't lie, and the magnets are very uh, willing to stick to the outside surface. As far as paint, paint flaw goes, uh, paint flaws go, there's some mud splash and some dirt here that it's not quite as clean as uh, it could be. A couple little wheel marks. But the reflective quality is very good. A few small contaminations in the paint and a couple of very small chips here and there. But I think generally speaking, it has a nice presence for a driver if that's what you're looking for. You know, in a local A&W style shows. Hood lines and the deck lid lines are in good shape. The bumpers are showing a stage one and stage two patina. Um, they look like they've been waxed. Beginning of the yellow cracking. So they got a good presence from about about this far off, eight to ten feet. Uh, the roof's in nice shape. Sometimes you see some hairline cracking here from flexing. But this car doesn't seem to have that. It's a 73 lower horsepower. All right, we're going to take it for a ride. The bushings are in pretty good shape on the doors. If, uh, if I go down here to lift up and you watch the watch the vehicle, the whole car's rocking, and the doors close pretty nice with a uh, two finger effort. We're going to head out. You can see my side of the interior uh, before I jump in. The console has been uh, replaced and it's in really nice shape. Original AM radio. Uh, the dash pad doesn't appear to have any big cracks in it. Gauge faces are really nice and clean. Lenses are clear. The carpet kit was changed uh, complete, including the uh, rear hump. And the seat covers were changed out along with the package tray. The headliner remains in nice shape, dome lights work, and the side trim uh, still looks pretty good, both left and right. Original seat belts, they coated, uh, oh, they're there. They both retract, sill plate covers have been changed. Our door panels show very nicely left and right. So the kick panels. There's some original books and literature with the car. I'm going to pause this and then we can uh, roll down the road. We're going to do a, a fire drill here in a minute. The owner's going to drive first, but you can see the tachometer's working. And could you uh, show me the parking brake light? There we go. Okay. Um, seatbelt light. Okay. That's I better put my seatbelt in. Mm -hmm. No buzzer, right? No buzzer. And there's no ignition buzzer when you put the... Uh, I'll leave the key in the ignition. Yeah. I took pictures down there of the uh, wiring harness. All right, we're going to take off here. The tachometer's working, as I mentioned earlier. Odometer's turned in, speedometer's working. Gas gauge appears to be on half full. The clock is in up. And then what gauge am I looking at above? That's our temp gauge? Yep. Take a look at that when we get back. The amps look like they're churning. I'm going to hit the turns left and right. Yeah, let me see. Where am I at? There we go. Do that one more time, Lamp. There we go. Yep, thanks. How about the horn? I've got a little bit of a beep out of it. Yeah. It's a little chirp. Uh, the ashtray is uh, mildly worn. Dash pad over there on that side. 
looks nice just like this one a little bit of heat rise right here a little bit of buckle it's pretty common They have pretty normal shift points. <laughs> when I get back. All right, we're on the 50016.2. I'm gonna hit the pause button for a minute and we'll ride a little bit. All right, go ahead and hit it. to do the lights while we're out. There's the headlights, both of them. How about parking lights? Okay, we got one parking light out on the right. Turn signals. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, never mind. We'll do the brakes when we get back. Side marker. Okay. Brake, yep. Reverse, yep. Turn signals. Yep. Yep. Might as well hit the brights now. Brights. Okay, thank you. Alright, I'm driving. It's a nice looking car out in the sunlight. The metallic. The metallic really stands up a little bit. Stripes appear to be uh, laid out nicely, uniform. Again, some of that same mild patina in the bumper. And there's some uh, wax buildup down there in the balance panel needs to be cleaned up. Or the lower uh, headlight balance, the grill's in good shape. A little bit of pitting on the Z28 emblem. past the subdivision and we can turn around in the library. Okay, we're in drive. Car shifts out nicely. It doesn't feel like there's any shift kit. Holding the road good. We're kind of on a windy two track, but hands off the wheel here and the uh, car's tracking pretty straight, 35 miles an hour. Stepping on the brake pedal. Brakes are stopping smoothly. Don't feel a pull left or right. Even with the wear that uh, is visual in the suspension, the steering wheel's not bumping at all. I'm steering with one finger right now. A little bit of uh, play left to right. The uh, seller mentions it's likely in the steering box. 
no unusual pulling though. 50,000 almost 021. Alright, we'll wrap it up when we get back. Car seems to ride good. Temperature is uh, maintaining. I can't see it, but you can look at it on the video later. It's about 180, 190. Returning from the ride, we're going to let it sit and idle for a few minutes and make sure that it's uh, running nice and cool, but there's no indication that it is not. So uh, maybe you can hear me better now. Didn't show you the complete rest of the interior, but the package tray has been changed and the headliner is in uh, good shape. is showing nice both seat belts retract so we got a parking light out we got a little bit of looseness in the steering a couple of rust spots that were mentioned uh, when turning into the garage felt a little bit of binding here or something. It could be in the steering box. I'm not really sure. I don't think it's in the rear end. <clears throat> but that posi might be a... Uh, might be a posi situation. Is this a posi setup, do you know? Oh, yeah, I saw the tag on it, yeah. Take one last look underneath before we shut her down. running at a nice temperature. Okay, 1973 Camaro Z28 for sale in Michigan. Pre-purchase inspection being conducted. Alright, thanks for hanging out. Have a great day.